Hi, I'm going to do some painting watercolor stuff here on a project that is uh, studying more of sort of a color spectrum idea. And yes, right now it looks like a typical just layers of uh, one particular paint in a, uh, a color wheel sort of fashion. I do have it set up so that uh, complementary colors are across from each other. So I have this group of yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, red, red, violet, and then this group, violet, blue, violet, blue, blue, green, green, yellow, green. And what I've done is in each of the top squares, first I did a layer of really watery color. And then I came and did a second pass. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the specific paints when I get to the color. So what I'm actually going to start with is yellow-orange. Yellow is um, an odd thing. We're going to be taking this, these colors from completely saturated, uh, most intense version of, you know, tr trying to get to the uh, the spot on the color wheel and then when I get over into the fifth and excuse me fourth and fifth column I'm gonna start adding darker darker colors and changing um, changing things up a bit to take it so it it appears that it's one continuous uh, you know uh, sequence of basically the same color but going from completely watery white to almost black so that this part will be interesting but what I'm doing right now is I'm just I'm in mostly this the third the third pass um, what I have here is Hansa Yellow Deep by Daniel Smith and I've already done a watery pass and a fairly juicy pass for the second wash and what I'm going to do now is just on this third one, I'm going to do a layer that is pretty creamy, as I like to call it. But I'm just going to do it in this third swatch here. I'm going to leave that one and that one alone, which is not my usual pattern. And that is because when I start building up to where these get really dark, it's going to help to not have that much paint already there. This is a great thing to learn to you know, keep building up layers. But by the time I really want to go dark, dark for this and this, I do want to make sure that I still have that yellow-orange foundation of color. But then I'm going to start adding layers of darker pigment and it will get darker without as many layers because too too many thick layers will can dull things out um i tell you it's just all crazy so that was um that one and my orange i'm doing a mix of this is pyrrol orange by um Daniel Smith, which is a beautiful color, but it's a very, uh, really a, a reddish orange. So I'm going to mix the Hansa Yellow Deep and the Pyrrol Orange to get what what I think of as more of a, a true orange. All of this 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 color stuff is is fun. I always talk about it because it's sort of like. Who the hell decides what orange is? <laughs> um, so once again, just in this third swatch here, I'm going to try to get sort of the most orangey orange I can get with just these watercolors. 
this red orange is going to be um, the pyral orange and I've kind of been mixing it up a little I, I sometimes I add just a touch of naphthol red by M Graham and depending on the constant depending on how watery it is the pyral orange has a lovely range from being really um, pretty pinkish pretty salmony color to really really intense red orange so when I was over here doing wa more watery versions I had to actually add a little bit of yellow but I think at this point just a straight pyrrole and some um, naphthol red is what I just grabbed right there because it's yeah that is working um, like I said and, and the more watery mixes it was getting a little too a little too pink and not not really reading as red orange Sweet. So there's that one. And now this one is one of the few sort of spots in a color wheel and an actual pigment that line up. One pigment. Actually, I suppose some of those did. But either way, um, this is just going to be straight naphthol red. And a creamy, pretty creamy mix of that. Once again, I've done a watery layer and then a pretty juicy second layer. And now I'm coming to the third one and trying to get that's a little too creamy. It's not really going to go on the paper. So one thing to think about is even though these are, I'm trying to get to the most intense watercolor version that this third swatch, if you squint, is definitely darker value than this one and quite a bit darker than this one. So that factors into this as well, which is another reason why the why the yellow and actually the yellow green and even a little bit of the yellow orange is kind of tricky but I'm going to keep moving here this is red violet and I'm gonna throw everyone a curveball here <laughs> I have been doing Quinn pink and oh that's pretty and um, and dioxazine purple which is kind of convenient quick to get to the hue that I'm after but what I keep what I keep learning about dioxazine purple is that it both it dries the M gram is the, the prettiest version I have found among almost all the brands I can think of but it's still there's still a dullness that occurs when dioxazine purple dries and I what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm still gonna think of the same hue and that I want red violet but I'm gonna come at it in a, a slightly different way I'm just gonna use my quinacridone pink My water is almost not clean enough, but I'm, I'm still going for it. And this is a little bit of ultramarine blue. This happens to be the Daniel Smith ultramarine blue. 
but I'm going to see because I've, I've these two colors I have used quite a bit to nice effect and I'm just kind of curious how how they might mix and be a little bit a little bit less dull when things dry what I what I need to do is just do a side-by-side -side comparison instead of and see what those mixes look like but I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and maybe I'll even um, I am liking that what I'm gonna try is a really watery layer on this just to see if I can sort of liven that liven that up a bit I don't want to make it darker maybe gotten a little darker but not much and That's dry. Yeah, I think it is. Now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna let make sure everything's dry. Probably come back in.